here we're going to be looking at counter movement jump testing on our force plates. Whenever I take an athlete through this, I want to make sure there's standardization in the procedure that we use. I have my clients put one foot on each square, hands on their hips, and I ask them to jump as high and as fast as possible with each repetition. This allows us to compare each testing block to one another and also to compare one athlete's findings to another's. The first finding that we like to look at is jump height. We want to make sure there's an upward, upward trend over time as we're comparing one test block to the next. The next metric that we look at is peak power. There are recommendations for return to sport from lower extremity injuries for peak power, but again, we want to see an upward trend through our testing blocks. The last one we have here is RSI, or rate of speed index. This becomes important in late stage rehab where we're trying to get our springiness back with our athletes. There are two other ones that we like to look at with asymmetries. Eccentric RFD is how we're throwing on the brakes with a landing. We want to make sure there's less than a 10% asymmetry with our athletes. And here we're looking at concentric peak force asymmetry, which is how much are we pushing off with each leg.